Jazakallah uh, khair. Brother Muhammad Hubnus, could you summarize the topic for us in the last few minutes we have left? Taib. I'm not going to summarize. What I'm going to do is just share some personal thoughts. This issue of depression and, and, you know, and problems that we face in our lives, I want to say something, wallahi, to every brother and to every sister, Muslim and non-Muslim also. The thing is, my brothers and sisters, I want you to live your life. Stop living other people's lives. This is a really big problem that we have. Many of us, we put ourselves in a position of stress and, and sadness because we're trying to live a life that is not ours. We're trying to live other people's lives. We spend so much time looking over the fence to see what is happening on the other side and you're not, and, and you're not appreciating what you have nor are you dealing with what you have. Like I'll give you an example. Personally, I'm, you know, and I'm not here to hate uh, on, on, wallahi, I'm just, you know, like this Facebook concept, right? I'm not on Facebook. And I'm not here to say it's halal or it's haram. Wallahi, I'm not. But the concept amazes me, man. And our lives have become so attached to it that it brings unnecessary stress and unnecessary sadness. Why? Because you're so caught up with how other people are living their lives that the only thing you can see in your life is what's missing. And you stop seeing what you have. And really I find it interesting. And again, forgive me now, these are just my personal. Have we become so shallow that I need to let the world know where I am, what I'm eating, where I'm going and who I'm with? And have you become so shallow that you need to follow people now? I don't understand. Like people take selfies. Just, just had lunch. <laughs> Are you that bored? <laughs> just had lunch. It was the best. <laughs> You have to try. Wallahi, you know, you, look, it's funny, but wallahi, you don't understand the effects it has on individuals, even marriages. And I'm telling you, you know, and maybe this is a bit extreme, but I believe that people are living a lie. You know, girls who take these, even guys now, what's the postcode? You know, when you do this, this, what's, 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 what? I don't know what it's called, but anyway, so, you know, people who take selfies and then put it up on the internet, I find it amazing. If you're so sincere, why don't you take a photo as soon as you wake up in the morning? You know, while you still got those things in your eyes. No, the picture is selected. The picture is selected. And I always take a photo when I'm on a holiday or I'm having something, right? And I, I, and, and, and I go to extreme efforts to show the world that I'm living the life. But in truth, you're not living the life. You're a human being like everyone else. And what tends to happen is, and, and, and really, wallahi, I say to people, even if you are happy, don't show it to the world. Because people will start to hate on you. They will start wishing to have what you have. And they will start wishing that Allah takes what you have and gives it to them. And this happens with marriages. Lots of marriages. Why? Because we're trying to live a life that's not ours. I mean, really, if Allah gives me $500 a week, then live the life of someone that has $500 a week. No. I want to live like the one that's making $3,000 a week. But my brother and sister, Allah didn't give you that. Allah says, I'm not going to question you on things I haven't given you. Why do you make things difficult on yourself? Brothers who drive around all day, working all day, looking at every woman that comes his way, admiring and lusting and Allahu Akbar, he comes home and he says to me, man, I'm sick of my wife. Yeah, of course you're sick of your wife. Had you spent 10% of the time you spend looking at other people's women, had you just spent that time looking at what Allah gave you, maybe you would appreciate her as well. But you don't. 
You're looking at the things that don't belong to you. You look at things that are not yours. You're trying to live the life that is not yours. Wallahi, just live your life. You know, I, I, Wallahi, forgive me, man, but, but I, I, you know, I struggle with these things. People who spend so much time on social media, what, 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 are you that bored? Really, have you nothing to do in your life? I'm on my, you know, the treatment. Who cares who, where you are and what you're doing? I don't care. Really, Wallahi, forgive me. I don't care. I don't care what you're eating. I don't care if it tastes good. I don't care. Really, I don't care. Do you, do you, do you like... Do you care, Shem? Takbir! 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 The Sheikh wants to take us off. You give us a minute. You know, but, but really, really, you know, really, you know, just, just, you know, uh, Wallahi, you know, I'm not, I'm not here. You know, I've got, I know there are sisters who look in the mirror and, and, and really deep down in their hearts, they're not happy. I tell you, my sister, the truth, and I can't believe I'm saying this. Wallah, if my wife hears this, she's, she's going to be doing some of you know. I hope this is not recording. Really. Wallahi, my sister, the way you look, you will never look better. You know why? Because you were not created by Fulan. Allah created you the way you are. And if people don't like it, well then the hell with them. Really, it's that simple, man. What's the, what's the, what's the you know? Allah says, I love you the way you are. Allah says, I want you just the way you are. Allah says, I created you like that because that's the way I wanted it. Allah says, I want you to be covered and conceal what you have. It's only for me and for your husband and for those who I've made halal for you. What are you stressing out about? So, Allah, Sheikh, forgive me, man. I can rave on this. But really, really man, enough with these uh, movies, but... Uh, So, <laughs> just, well, that was frustrating. We had to get it out. Mashallah, I think everyone loved that. <laughs> you should get frustrated a lot more, Mashallah. What do you say, Sheikh? Yeah, let us find something <laughs> to make him depressed or frustrated. <laughs> then we'll get the maximum of it. Mashallah. <laughs> yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I hope, Inshallah, Ta'ala, we have uh, answered the problem of depression today, Inshallah. Inshallah, no one here would be. Depressed, depressed anymore inshallah if someone is depressed let him come to the ship <laughs> come see me inshallah see him backstage <laughs>